Hello, this is Abu Zar from Mad Concepts channel. Let us begin this video with a poem from Ferdowsi, the Persian poet. Ferdowsi says, once you said, I earned all the wisdom and learned everything I had to, the life plays a beautiful game and sits you besides a teacher. In this video, we find the coordinates of a point rotated around another point in two-dimensional space. Please subscribe to this channel to watch and learn more about conceptual mathematics problems. Let us consider point P in two-dimensional space. Let us consider another point C in two-dimensional space. Let Q denote the counterclockwise rotation of point P with angle theta around point C. We show that the coordinates of point Q is derived as the two-dimensional matrix with elements cosine of theta, minus sine of theta, sine of theta, and cosine of theta times the difference between the coordinates of rotating point P and center point C plus the coordinates of the center point C. The 2 by 2 matrix with elements cosine of theta, minus sine of theta, sine of theta, and cosine of theta is referred as 2D rotation matrix. In other words, we show that xq is equal to cosine of theta times xp minus xc minus sine of theta times yp minus yc plus xc. And yq equals sine of theta times xp minus xc plus cosine of theta times yp minus yc plus YC. As an example, let us consider point P with coordinate 3 and 2, and consider center point C with coordinates 1 and 1. We rotate point P around center point C counterclockwise with angle theta equals to 90 degrees. We find the coordinates of rotated point Q, that is 90 degrees counterclockwise rotation of point P, around center point C. Using the equation for rotating point P around point C counterclockwise with angle theta, we have XQ and YQ is equal to 2D rotation matrix with elements cosine of 90 degrees minus sine of 90 degrees, sine of 90 degrees, and cosine of 90 degrees, times the difference vector with elements 3 minus 1, 2 minus 1, plus the coordinates of center point C with elements 1 and 1. Substituting cosine of 90 degrees with 0 and sine of 90 degrees with 1, we have the coordinates of rotated point Q is equal to the matrix with elements 0, negative 1, 1, and 0 times the vector with elements 2 and 1 plus the vector with elements 1 and 1. Taking the matrix multiplication and vector summation, we have x of point q is equal to 0 times 2 plus negative 1 times 1 plus 1, that is equal to 0. Also, y of point q is equal to 1 times 2 plus 0 times 1 plus 1, that is equal to 3. Thus, we find the coordinates of the rotated point q as 0 and 3. Please pause this video now and take a paper and pen 
and find the coordinates of rotating a point around another point by yourself. As a hint, from origin, draw vector OA equal to vector CP. Rotate point A counterclockwise with angle theta around origin and call it point B. Use 2D rotation matrix with angle theta to find the coordinates of point B based on coordinates of point A. Show that the coordinates of vector CQ is equal to coordinates of point B and coordinates of vector CP is equal to coordinates of point A. Substituting vector CQ with point B and vector CP with point A show that vector CQ is derived as 2D rotation matrix multiplied by vector CP. Substitute vectors CQ and CP as the difference of their head and tail coordinates. Then rearrange the terms and derive the equation for coordinates of the rotated point Q. Now let us review the detailed proof of the equation for rotating a point around another point in two-dimensional space. From origin, let us draw vector OA equal to vector CP. Point B is rotation of point A counterclockwise with angle theta around origin. In the video that is published in this channel with title Rotate a point about origin in two-dimensional space, we showed that coordinates of point B is derived as 2D rotation matrix with angle theta times the coordinates of point A. Let us review the proof of this equation in summary. Note that rotation preserves the distance between rotating point and center point of rotation. Thus we have the length of vector OA is equal to the length of vector OB. Let us denote this distance as R. Let us denote alpha as the angle between rotating point A and X axis. Let us write the coordinates of point B in polar format. We have X of B equals to R times cosine of alpha plus theta. Also Y of B equals R times sine of alpha plus theta. In the video that is published in this channel with title cosine of addition of two angles, we showed that cosine of alpha plus theta equals to cosine of alpha times cosine of theta minus sine of alpha times sine of theta. Expanding the term cosine of alpha plus theta, we have x of b equals to r times cosine of alpha times cosine of theta minus sine of alpha times sine of theta. That is equal to cosine of theta times r times cosine of alpha minus sine of theta times r times sine of alpha. Note that r times cosine of alpha is x of a and r times sine of alpha is y of a. Thus we have x of b is equal to cosine of theta times x of a minus sine of theta times y of a. In the video that is published in this channel with title sine of addition of two angles, we showed that sine of alpha plus theta is equal to sine of alpha times cosine of theta plus cosine of alpha times sine of theta. Expanding the term sine of alpha plus theta, we have y of b is equal to 
r times sine of alpha times cosine of theta plus cosine of alpha times sine of theta. That is equal to cosine of theta times r times sine of alpha plus sine of theta times r times cosine of alpha. Note that r times sine of alpha is equal to y of a and r times cosine of alpha is equal to x of a. Thus we have y of b is equal to sine of theta times x of a plus cosine of theta times y of a. We obtained x of b is equal to cosine of theta times x of a minus sine of theta times y of a. Also, y of b is equal to sine of theta times x of a plus cosine of theta times y of a. Representing these two equations in matrix equation format, we have the coordinates of point B is equal to 2D rotation matrix with angle theta times the coordinates of point A. Vector OA is equal to vector CP. It means that vectors OA and CP are parallel to each other and they have equal lengths. As rotation preserves the distance between rotating point and center point of rotation, the lengths of vectors CQ and CP and OA and OB are equal to each other. Vector OA is parallel with vector CP. Also, the angle between vectors CQ and CP is equal to angle between vector OB and OA. Thus, vector OB and CQ are also parallel to each other. Vectors OB and CQ are in the same direction and have equal lengths. Thus, vectors OB and CQ are equal to each other. We drew vector OA equal to vector CP. The coordinates of vector OA is derived as coordinates of its head point A minus the coordinates of its tail point origin. That is equal to the vector with elements xA minus 0 and yA minus 0. That is equal to coordinates of point A. We showed that vector CQ is equal to vector OB. The coordinates of vector OB is derived as coordinates of its head point B minus the coordinates of its tail point origin. That is equal to vector with elements XB minus 0 and YB minus 0. That is equal to coordinates of point B. We showed that coordinates of vector CP is equal to coordinates of point A. Also, we showed that coordinates of vector CQ is equal to coordinates of point B. We also showed that coordinates of point B is derived as 2D rotation matrix times the coordinates of point A. Substituting vector CQ with point B and vector CP with point A in 2D rotation matrix equation, we have vector CQ is equal to 2D rotation matrix times vector CP. The coordinates of vector CQ is equal to the coordinates of its head Q minus its tail C that is equal to vector XQ and YQ minus vector XC and YC. The coordinates of vector CP is equal to the coordinates of its head P minus its tail C that is equal to vector XP minus XC and YP minus YC. We obtained CQ is equal to 2D rotation matrix times CP. Substituting CQ and CP with their coordinates, we have the coordinates of point Q minus coordinates of point C is equal to 2D rotation matrix with angle theta 
times the difference between rotating point P and center point C. Let us add coordinates of center point C to both sides of this recent equation. We obtain coordinates of rotated point Q is derived as 2D rotation matrix with angle theta times the vector difference of rotating point P and center point C plus coordinates of center point C. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to this channel to watch and learn more about conceptual mathematics problems.